Hey guys, it's Tamara. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you aren't here, go ahead and subscribe to me, like this video, and comment down below what you want to see next. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to become a baddie on a budget. If your budget is not there, you don't got a money like that. You don't got a budget like that. I'm going to show you how you can really Major finesse, key. you know, everything about yourself under $200. Enough comparing yourself to these people that are probably in debt and credit card debt. Yo. So, what I got in front of me is everything that you're going to need. We gonna do your lashes, girl. And then I just got this in the mail, y'all. It's um a LED professional lamp. We got some press-ons and we gonna put them on. And of course, we got a premium synthetic wig from Plucked Her Way. As y'all know, I stick with Ruby Kisses Cream Contour Palette, y'all. I've had this for two years and it's still going strong. It's not really going too strong in this corner because like I used all of that, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna just color my cap. And that's all I'm really gonna do. I'm not doing a ball cap method, y'all. I'm not. I'm really not. The wig that I have here is Valentina from Plucked Her Wig Premium Synthetic Wig Collection. She is pre-cut lace. This is her hairline. She already has baby hairs. All I really gotta do is put some glue on and put this wig on and boom. Hair is already done. But look how it's already looking. I already gotta just lay that down right there. It's already plucked right there. All I gotta do is... And I'm good! Like... I don't have to do anything for real, for real. And I'm already plucked away. Okay, I'm gonna rip this tag off. So I'm gonna cut my ear tag out. So it's gonna lay right here on this side. I'm gonna cut at the very top of my ear and then I'm gonna angle the scissors down and I'm just gonna cut straight down like that. So it's like a... And now that I got like the layout, like I wanna glue it like right here. So I'm gonna pull it back. Make sure that you wipe your forehead off because I'm already sweating. Wet and glue and oil and all that, it don't mix. All right, so we're gonna take some bold hold, y'all. Put some dots. You can put dots, however, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna take a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna spread the glue in one direction. Spread the glue in one direction. Spread the glue in one direction. Don't be going up and down and around and around. If you pick one direction, stay with it. And if you're a beginner, I would recommend that you spread out your glue in sections instead of spreading out your whole hairline. Cause if you are a beginner and you're still struggling with like laying your lace correctly and you're like getting clumpy, like like results, I would recommend you putting your glue in one section. You wait until it's done and then you stick it down and then you move on to the next section, put glue right here, then you stick it down instead of trying to do in the whole hairline at one time. You don't want to be afraid to like put a little pressure behind um, you spreading it. Like I used to be afraid of it, but I just make sure that I put a little bit of pressure and I'm also spreading it out in one direction. That is the most important thing. Now I'm gonna stick my lace down. I'm gonna start with this corner piece that I know for sure is gonna stick right here. And I'm gonna take my lace and I'm gonna glue it right in front of it. Like this part of my lace will be right here. Not right here or right there. You also wanna spread out your lace as you stick it down so you don't have any humps or lumps. I like to take a makeup brush and like really make sure it's in there when you first stick down your lace your main goal is making sure that the lace sticks to the glue so we're not even worrying about melting it we're not worrying about anything like that we just want to take our elastic band and i'm taking my plucked away elastic band i'm gonna make sure that i place it where i place my glue and now i'm gonna watch some tiktoks while i wait until this starts to hurt a little bit So it's been long enough and I'm gonna take it off. But now we're gonna get into melting the actual leftover lace that's, that you see right there. If y'all tapped into my ebook, y'all would know what these two products literally like, come on now. They're both melting sprays, but this one is more so like a got to be and this is more like a spritz. So I like to use both. But for right now, I think I'm gonna use just only this one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go in my book to look at my instructions because Okay, but I like to take the little mini versions of the bigger version of these ones because these don't give you a more like a Pacific shade, Pacific, Pacific, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I got um, Ruby Kisses level 15 and I also have Ruby Kisses level 16. I believe that this one is way too dark for me. Um, 15 is just right. I'm going to just dab the product on the very top of the lace. I'm going to uh, try to avoid 
putting the product on my forehead so that way when I put the melting spray on it doesn't like leave that like disgusting makeup residue if you don't if y'all know what I'm talking about y'all know what I'm talking about I'm going to take my Ebon melting spray it's like the spritz version place it on top of the um lace that we just placed it and then i'm gonna take my blow dryer i'm gonna take the end of my comb because my comb broke press in the lace to my skin okay, so this is how the lace is looking right now so let's just go ahead i'm not gonna lie the best activity to do while you're waiting for your lace girl get you something to eat for real you even forget that a lace is on your head because you're eating Y'all, the girl that did my hair that one time, she used granola, 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 granola is crazy. She used granola snot. Uh. I mean, all you have to do when you order from me is literally lay your edges down. That's it. Okay, y'all, so I styled her. All I did was put like a little braid here and I made it really, 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 really fluffy so that it looks like a fishtail, but it's really not no fishtail. And I put another braid on this side and then like the, this is how she's looking. Um, yeah, this is giving me prom. Like, For the next part of the video, we are gonna get into how to do your own lashes because bro, I remember I got my lashes done the first time ever. It literally took so long, like my butt was numb. Literally, when you do your own lashes, it takes like 10, 20 minutes. Wipe your eyes off so there's no oil on your eyes because the same way that you don't want like oil mixed with your lace where you don't want any oil on your lashes. The lashes that I'm using is a V-Line Easy Lash DIY Kit. Even on the back. Even on the back it tells you that it's not going to take, literally, it's not going to take three hours to put on your lashes. It comes with the bond in the lock and it also comes with the lash remover. So that means like when you want to remove these lashes, you can easily take them off instead of like ripping your natural lashes. And apply it to the root of your lashes. I'm not gonna lie, I like to use um hair glue. People don't like to use hair glue. Baby, one thing about me, I'm gonna put the hair glue on my lashes because it makes them last longer. Just put a little bit on like anything. And I'm gonna take my 16 first. But what I do is I flip the lash so that now the band is like pointing upwards to the sky. I take the inside and scoop some of the hair glue like that. So it's only in the inside of the hair of the um, lash. Then I'm gonna take it, open my eye real wide. You can even hold it like this. You're gonna place it where your lashes start. So I'll show y'all again. I take another 16. I'm gonna flip it so that the band is pointing upwards to the sky. And then I'm gonna dip it inside of my eye. Then I'm gonna flip it back over so that the band is pointing down. And then I'm going to place it right next to the one I just placed down. And then I'm gonna just keep going, keep going, keep going. So I'm gonna take my 16, I'm gonna point it to the sky, take the inside of the lash and dip it into the hair glue, turn it back around so the lash is downwards. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna place it like that. The next step is kind of like, my, I have a lash fan, but my lash fan is upstairs and I'm not going upstairs. So I'm gonna take my blow dryer. Put it on the lower setting and put it on cool. Clamp your lashes together. Literally, it looked like I just came back from my lash appointment. I was literally here the whole time. You can stack them as well. If you want to stack them, you can get like a double double effect. It'll look more like hybrid. Okay, let me start acting like I know these, what the sets are called. This will be like a classic hybrid, I think. I don't know. Um, I got this off a TikTok shop. I'm not gonna lie, they sent this to me. But it's like a professional lamp light. I'll have all these links in the description. For saw nails that are literally gonna last you so long. I had this pack for so long. They have 270 nails just in one pack. Three different colors and literally nine different styles. Like, you can't go wrong with this. I'm gonna like remove all that oil off. I just wanna dry out my nails. They probably have like something for this, but I don't really know what it's called and I don't have it. All right. So now they're less shiny. Follow my nail bed. Swipe it off. Get it all off. Now I'm going to take my cuticle remover. And I got this from Walmart for like $5. Put it at the base of your nail. And what this is going to do is loosen up your cuticle so you can push them back. Oh, wow. This is nice. What? Okay, that's nice. Put the nail glue on the nail. Apply it at a 45 degree angle. 
Okay, so I just put on the other ones and y'all see how it's like, Blech. just take your um file and make it even. The next step is going to be putting our top coat on. I mean, I'm just going to put my hands in the, the UV light. Yo, I really feel like I'm at a salon right now. Like this is my own salon. This is like it, faking it until you make it. Like, girl, you don't got the budget right now to go to the salon. Girl, make your budget. Make it at home. I'm gonna put it in for 30 seconds. So this is how my nails look like. I put like oil on the cuticle. Okay, don't play with it. This is how everything turned out. How I become literally that girl under a budget. This is the hair. These are the lashes. And these are my nails. All done by myself. If I could do it, you can do it. Literally. There's no difference between you and I. So. Major key.